Hi everyone, Corey Thorne, spiritual healer, psychic medium, and life coach, stepping in to do a forecast February reading for my Virgos. And what's coming up for me today um, was a sense of let's get to the point. So it's kind of trying to skip forward from all of the other chats that I normally do because I have to do a little talk about um, understanding that my, my work is not to replace any medical, scientific, or psychological advice that you have been given. It's to be taken as entertainment only. And if this is, if it doesn't resonate with you, remember this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. To book personal readings, please contact me. So Virgo, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. February is about get to the point, but it's also a time of getting to the point of your heart. What does your heart want? What have you been what have you been like calling out for? Something is like you have like happy feet happening. Something that's like making you want to trot, making you want to move, making you want to kind of start something new, start new projects, start new relationships. It feels as if there's a whole like burst of energy that's flowing through you. But we are in a time of expansion within your heart. Your heart is saying, I need more. What is out? What else is out there for me? And even though you're, you know, you tend to want to be grounded and practical, um, you're not so practical in February. February is kind of like, even though it's still in the humdras, humdrums of winter, it feels as if you feel as if a part of you is actually spring. Like there's a spring in your step. You want to get moving. You want to get moving forward. What else is possible? And with the new moon that's coming on the 4th, I feel like that is setting your intentions of what do you want to see happening. The card that just comes flying out of the pack is tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock, get moving, get moving. It's like time's a wasting, time's a wasting. I have to get going. And that's so kind of not you. You kind of think things through and you're logical and you want to you want to plan things and kind of like if you're going to buy something new, it's like you need to go to the consumer report first and make sure it's the first, the the quality and make sure it's the right one. And you're making decisions right now that's kind of like flying by the seat of your pants. It's okay. And I feel like for some of you, this is work related. It's like you're, you're going to be kind of taking yourself in a whole new direction to either a quick move, like something that takes you to an interview somewhere that you would not have expected, a job somewhere that you wouldn't have expected, or a whole flipping career. Uh, some of my young Virgos, I feel like for some of my very young Virgos, my just starting out in life, like um, you've been wondering where the work is. It's like, where do I go for work? And it's like, I'm my, my, um, my money is running out. I'm being drip dry type of thing. And your energy feels like it's being drip dry. And it's like, uh, how am I going to provide? I just started out. And it's like, just know that there is something coming. There's something coming that kind of provides you another little safety net, takes you into a whole new sense of, um, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to survive this. And for some of you that's been in school, February, January was challenging to kind of get yourself back into the, the, the role of it. And um, know that that's going to take a, uh, a change as well. Something is going to uh, really pick up the paces for school for you if you're in school. Be flexible. I'm being told that you need, that all of my Virgos need to be flexible, and that's where that kind of taking that like kind of little bits of leaps of faith happening around you guys. It's like be flexible with what's coming because this is something new, a new direction. And I also feel like for my married Virgos is that you need to be a little bit flexible, not so rigid in the relationship. It's like your partner wants you to kind of look at things differently or be willing to kind of see things their way or to make a move in, in, a, in a new kind of direction within the relationship or to kind of... Um, not be so stuck in your ways of how things are done. Don't be afraid of, of kind of thinking a little bit differently. Let's get outside the box. Your whole life don't need to be inside of the box. And for some of my Virgos, for my single Virgos, I feel there is a strong little attraction happening as if there's like a, either a secret admirer or you're attracted to somebody and you're not really saying, but somebody's creeping somebody. And if you're the one who's creeping, know that it's, you know, it's probably safe to send that message and say, hey, would you like to meet up? Because there is some creeping happening here and not in a bad way creeping. I mean, just like creeping on social media, looking at them and admiring the person or somebody is admiring you. And um, there's gonna be some advancement in that. And what's the worst that can be told to you? A no? 
If no is the worst thing that you have to face, then why not take the step forward? Why not go try that out and just see? And the other thing comes up is in friendships. There is some changes happening within uh, with finding the real people where you belong, finding the place where you belong, and this is the tribe, and that you're finding your people. So it's like a new job, a new a new place for you to be, a new town, whatever that may be. But you're, it's like there's been like I want to say a five six year span for some of you where you've really struggled to feel where you belong again. You've made you've committed to some obligations to be somewhere but it hasn't really been for you. It hasn't suited you. And that just know that um, those that you're finally going somewhere where you get that job or you get that place where you're finally can be you again, that those obligations to take care of people are over. There is some challenges for some of my Virgos and my heart just goes, Oof. it feels as if there's some emotional struggles that is happening in your lives and uh, know that God is with you type thing, God consciousness or some sort of something with you to help you out, to help you, to help you through. And that that's um, you, like the things in life that have to happen will happen. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how else to put this, but there's some things that are out of our control and some, some things we can't change. So um, the fates of life, right? There's some things that are fated in life and some things are, you know, people, their soul contract is up their t or their time is up and they just, they're ready to kind of shift and move on that's it, it's kind of that that journey of life some people have that journey of life that's just like I've, I've done my journey and now I'm done and that's not you yourself I mean that's somebody that's in your life and just knowing that you are the best support and you're being the best support that you can be in the best ways you can you can't force you can't change and you can't make people hold on any longer and then on the other side of this is a step of the loyal hearts here's the relationship if you're, if, if you are the one who's kind of watching somebody else, there's either, there's a sense of a new relationship coming in, but also if you're someone who's already in that relationship, there's a sense that this relationship that's coming in is the relationship that you, that you've always wanted or the relationship that you once had and it slipped away, but it's like finally finding a love, finally finding true love, a sense of, you know what, you might be married by if you're the single one, you might be married by September. You might be married by June or July. It's like this is all quickly and fast and you're, and you're moving on and moving into this relationship very, very quickly. Lots of good things, but lots of fast movement, lots of heart-centered healing, getting to the point of the heart and let's get to the point of life. You've been kind of stalled for a while or you've put your life on hold for a long time for other people or for an obligation to something and now it's your time and it's time to move forward. So allow yourself to just kind of be wherever you need to be in February and just kind of be okay with the fact that you're going to be not so structured in February. Things are going to move you in a new direction uh, and it's going to be very good. Fly with the wind and let yourself just be whatever you need to be for February. Thank you very much and much love to all of you and I hope this serves you well. Bye-bye.